Hello everyone, welcome back to Mayhem Plays FTL. Uh, if you remember last time, or in case you're just watching this back to back, you should remember because it was about 10 seconds ago for you based on how quickly you skipped my ad. <laughs> I picked up this Vulcan gun because I've never had it and I have no idea when the opportunity is going to present itself to try it again, so I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, charges up faster the more times it shoots, so that's awesome. It says eventually it'll actually start making it through shields better, which is good because I don't have the energy to power my ion cannon. Well, let's see what happens this time. Set up the distress, because no reason to go to a store. I'm dirt poor. To a tiny asteroid belt, small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Help, our shields are down and we won't last long. This is going to take some damage, but let's be the nice people. Oh yeah, that was one damage to the hold. That's worth 45 scrap. Cool. Ugh, really, guys? Really? Hmm. So, anyways, hope everyone's been having a good week so far. Ugh, I've actually, yeah, by the time this video's come up, I will have finished my first full week of courses. Actually, no, scratch that. Because of MLK Day, it still wasn't a full week of courses. Uh, but, I don't know, it wasn't bad. You know, business major with all the fun math and whatnot, it definitely could have been worse. Uh, let's hit up the beacon, then store. Crap. Asteroid belt to discover automated scout. Time to fight. <laughs> This was a terrible mistake. Oh, wow. This was also a terrible mistake because it only fires once. This was a horrible decision. Well, can't go back on it now. Especially because they don't have any weapons here. Um. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, put out the fire, put out the fire, put out the fire. Put out the fire! Okay, we're just gonna vent the atmosphere once they get these doors open. Except for that one. <sighs> okay. Okay. All the fire's out. I'm gonna close that. And I'm going to painfully wait for my... Actually, close that. I'm gonna painfully wait for my oxygen to resupply. So actually... I wish I could browse the store Wow, this is filling. <laughs> Can't even fix everything. Okay. There. That was
wasn't so bad, was it? He has one health. Okay. Go f fix this. Okay. Okay. Oxygen's going up. Yeah, if I got down to like two crew, that would pretty much be the end. Okay, go heal you up. You survived. <laughs> not, the, not how I expected to start the episode, but... I also didn't expect this thing to only do one shot at a time, even though it blatantly says one shot per charge. Just, I thought it would hold more charges than just one. Mm, I was wrong. Huh. Okay. There, everything's cool. See, it's like it's almost like we took no damage. Just return. We'll close the doors. All right, and then we're gonna take a deep breath and make this next jump. System bustling with rebel activity. Supply freighters and resupply stations are dwarfed by a few heavy warships, but no one's paying attention to me. Just gonna leave. And try and pick up some more scrap before we hit any bad places. Huh. Uh, despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. I can download its stores, which usually means map data, or I can just strip it for scrap. Scrap it is! Hopping around, collecting all the scrap that I can. Being... Why not? Let's see what's on the planet. You find a secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell you of another secret base. They give you the coordinates. Oh. One. Let's see. It's going to take me four jumps to get there and back. And then just a fifth one to get over. One, two... I'd have to go through a lot of rebels. Nope, it's just not worth it. A rebel automated scout. Son of... Another one in this stupid asteroid belt. Oh, look. Deal with that, please. Let's turn on auto fire for this thing right now. Because I'm going to keep forgetting to, auto to fire it. <laughs> right, let's at least get something shooting at this thing. This might be where I die. Because I can't get anything running through this. And it's all because I decided to pick up that gun. Yep. He dies. Well, that didn't take long. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Hmm. Well, you know, it's not like we were too far into the episode, so I may as well start over. 
let's see what I need to do to unlock the next ship. I don't remember. Uh, get to the fifth sector with any layout of the Kestrel. Okay. Or unlock different Kestrels. I need... Have six unique aliens on the Kestrel. Have eleven systems installed. Or as the Kestrel Cruiser, repair back to full health when it only has one HP remaining. That'll unlock different layouts. If I remember correctly. Yeah, or that'll unlock type B is to complete two of these three. And type C is just so if I can make it to the end with this. But you know what that means? Back to type A. Again. Save. Let's get him into the shields this time. And we will see if we can't do something with that. And we're off. Gosh dang it. Nearby Pulsar is detected. While you're attempting to recalibrate the FTL drive, a pirate sneaks up on you. That... I think that thing will shoot down the missiles I shoot at him. Until I do that. Stuck it. Oh, turn auto fire back off. Alright. Ship explodes. Now I just wait on this pulsar to stop hurting my engines so I can get the F out of here. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah. Yes, I think I made it out in time. Greetings, friend. We've heard tell of your quest and are here to offer our valuable services. I am to delay the rebels. I am to scout the sector. I think I'd rather have the scrap at the moment, so I'm gonna fight you. Cool. You take out the shields, you take out the weapons. Save crew, because I don't think I've done that yet. Well, crap. Um, could they dodge my missile and they're trying to take off? Come on, take out the ship. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank god. <laughs> That's two missiles that they've dodged. Costed me money, guys. Thank you. Sorry, I'm a douche. But I need the monies. Gotta make that paper. Uh, it's patrolling around a long range sensor. I could use the sensors. And so, of course, he would take out my sensors. Not the biggest problem to me, though. Especially since he killed my sensors. So, that was kind of worthless. Thanks. Okay. Now he's just a sitting duck. And fire! Access three scans from the unguarded station. Your map has been updated with details of the surrounding area, and I get 14 scrap. And he gets to go repair a camera. This is some compelling game footage right here. Go there. Cool. Cool. Get back. And. Possible ship detected. Great. There's going to be a ship there. You know, which is repeating exactly what I just read. Another mercenary for hire. 
I'm going to actually pay this one to delay the rebels by two jumps. Because there's a lot I can explore here. And I guess we're going to hit up as many of these ships as we can, so that way we can get as much scrap as we can. Mantis Military Scout seems to have just finished a salvage op on a nearby wreck. Awesome. Maybe I can get some extra salvage from him. Oh dear. Maybe I should just hit those. This laser will just drag across me and it's going to hurt a lot if it makes it through the shields. Cool. But it can't get through the shields by itself. So, as long as the weapons are damaged, or the ship dies. Woohoo! Free shit. Uh, here, that other ship, and then the store, I guess. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Delayed another two jumps. These mercenaries are great. Rebel ships patrolling this region. Shoot down the rebels. Mm, I need more crew. I need a lot more crew. Specifically, at least in NG. Then I can just run around and repair stuff like it's nothing. Take out the oxygen. Hit up his. Sh yeah, just hit up the shields. Got this rocket saved in case they try and jump or something. Cool. Hmm. Thinking about this game now, there is actually a gameplay mechanic I haven't touched on, and for those of y'all new to this game, have no idea it exists because I haven't mentioned it. The game can pause, and you can do this in the middle of fights. I'll show you at this next jump. No, there's no ship there. I'll show you at the next fight, but you can pause it in the middle of fights, so that way you can take in what's happening and adjust your stuff accordingly. And I've pretty much been trying to do this without pausing to, you know, seem more like a badass. Mysterious alien vessels that have valuable technology for sale. It's on page two. Ooh. While that may be cool, I'm gonna sell the Artemis, buy a heavy ion cannon, and... Pick up Fairy. Who's gonna get? St Actually, I'm gonna stick him in the shield. Now, oh, I'm a little short, so we'll do nothing. Okay. Next ship. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They're powering up their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. And... take out the engines first. So there. See how it's paused? I can do everything from tell this crew member to go somewhere, to select my weapon and tell it where to fire and take everything in. But some people look on that as just not as skilled, or for lack of a better term, cheaty. But, so I've just been trying to play without doing that. Uh, throw that in there for some dodge chance. Alright, come on, please take out the engine. Crap. This is gonna go badly. Uh, can my gun charge fast enough? Yes. Thank goodness. They don't have the weapons to get through my shield, so I don't have to care about that. I just need to keep them from jumping. That's all I have to do. Go <laughs> back and forth between their pilot and their engines. 
Because if you, as you'll see right here, actually it doesn't show unless someone's gone. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay. Ship breaks apart and you're relieved to know they're still one step ahead of the fleet. So, anyways, like it shows here, you have to have a pilot and the engine has to be up and running. It doesn't have to be manned, but it has to be functional. So if you can take out their engine or their pilot seat, then you'll effectively just stick them there. Oops, go away that. Uh, ship, distress, and then I guess maybe store? Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, we'll steal one from there, we'll shut that off for now, and get the ion cannon working. Yeah. The pirate advances on your position. They are refusing all hails. Prepare for a fight. Can do. Have the ion. Whoops. Ion charge is a little slower, so let's have it fire first. I'll take out the shields. They offer you some goods if you won't destroy them. Nope. Just want the scrap. You boys, SOL there. Alright. And let's just pick stuff. Three, two, one. <laughs> Quick and easy. Not much extra scrap though, so. Sorry, guy. And look how much faster he repairs stuff. Ah, it's like it didn't even matter. Cool. Pick up another power bar. Come on, useful distress call. Near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed. Let's try to dislodge by shooting at it. I take two damage. <sighs> Ugh. The pirate is destroyed, but I got 11 scrap. So, yay? Plus, I mean, they are pirates. No, no, no. Don't give me hate for pirates. Okay. Uh, last ship. Then store. Let's defend the outpost because we're such good people and we take out pirates and stuff. Let's go ahead with some more dodge chance. Yeah! See, that extra dodge chance worked. Uh, let's just do that. Okay. Have to be careful, though, because... The burst laser charges faster than this heavy ion, and I want the ion to hit before the burst laser, so that way it'll tear through the ship or the shields. Yay! They're happy I saved them, and they gave me stuff. I like stuff. To the store for a shopping spree. Anything good? Can't afford them anyway. Drones. Don't want another human. I've got a heavy eye on. So no, I'm happy with that. Don't want drone. Don't want that. Don't want that. So I guess we're gonna fix up, and then we're going to. Well, I guess we'll hang on to it for now, since we can't do anything with it. But now we're gonna leave the heck out of this sector. Ooh! Pirate! 
come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from him. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. Pfft, I can't be bribed. At least not for that little. However, he's gonna teleport someone onto me. Probably a mantis. Oh. Scrub. Didn't realize they had ion bombs. Okay. Getting ahead of myself in places. Actually getting behind myself. That'll do. Pirate explodes, leaving me with exactly what I need. And the pirate's victim left. You're welcome. Of course my ass would have been out of there too, so... Right. No, 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 no. just kidding. Don't unpower the oxygen. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Okay. I say okay a lot. I should really stop that. Holy crap! Hostile, 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 hostile. Civilian, civilian, civilian. Well, I hate nebulas, so... You know. Time for a sudden but inevitable betrayal. Yes, I am that big of a nerd, for those of y'all that got that. One, two, three... Yeah, cool. I try to not corner myself around places. <sighs> no, I told you my bribes need to be bigger. So for those of y'all that actually saw the first episode of this, you'll notice then I was playing on normal... Yeah! Now I'm playing... Boy... Now I'm playing on easy, because I'm horrible at this game. The main difference in hard and easy, or in normal and easy... Yeah, of course, the only one that hits. The main difference here between hard and easy, normal and easy, is the amount of scrap that you get. You get a lot more scrap in easy mode. I'm trying to run not allow that. We will put a stop to that. Or just kill them. Whichever. Cool. Plenty of scrap there. Cool. And the other nice people actually didn't run. They repaired my hole. That saved me, like, two scrap. I, uh, far out of my way. I'm sorry. Being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was to lure and attract unwitting ships, aka me, into weapons range. <sighs> You're welcome. Uh, hit their shield. Crap. Still too fast. Keep hitting their shield, and then we go and keep their weapons down. That's better. Another fun thing, if you can survive it, is keep ioning their oxygen and just have them suffocate. <laughs> and then you get to you get a lot more scrap from the ship. Huh? You must be leveling up. Yeah, you get a lot more scrap from the ship if you actually can kill all the people on it and not destroy it. <laughs> no, please. Yeah! That's what you get for lowering me. Cool. 
He's almost leveled up enough on the ship, or on the engines. He is doing pretty well on weapons. He sucks at shield, whatever. He's doing okay on driving. To the store. For a legitimate shopping spree for once. I think this is the most scrap I've ever had coming to a show to a store on camera. Yes! Sold. In a heartbeat. No questions asked. Uh, don't care. Nothing else of value to me. I should probably buy some fuel. I should probably buy lots of fuel. There we go. And now I don't have to worry about fuel again. We're going to start upping our shield some. You can either up shields a lot so that way you can take lots of damage, or you upgrade your engine a lot so that way you can hopefully dodge the damage. As soon as you arrive, a small ship decloaks behind yours. You immediately power up the shields and weapons, but they continue on their trajectory unimpressed. You try to calm your nerves. Oop, that's different. I've never seen that message before. It's kind of startling. Ooh, we're actually starting to run over time. Uh, let's let's go ahead and fight this people or see what we do. We find a rebel combat ship that's been reassigned as an emergency supply vessel. The local civilians are apparently in need of the help, and the rebels are rising to the occasion. I can't steal from the civilians. Dang it. Well, it's a lackluster moment, but for that we will have to leave there. We are halfway through Sector 2 after being absolutely destroyed because I bought that stupid Vulcan cannon. But at least this time I'm going with something more bread and butter with the heavy ion and burst laser. So maybe we'll do a little bit better. Anyways guys, thank you again so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like and you know, share it to absolutely anyone that you can, you know, talk to. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you again so much and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.